Alright. Short game is adding experience in one session. No save games are supported. Okay. Alright, let me just turn this tunage down a sec. Oh, I like how it moves. Yeah, that's about good. Also, as you guys may notice, I'm wearing a Death Wish coffee hat. I love to be sponsored by Death Wish coffee. No, um, yeah, I decided to wear a hat today. It's my little Death Wish coffee hat. Marie's Room is a short exploration game. It is fairly new, and it was developed by Kenny Goleman and Dagmar Blumart. I don't know if I pronounced those correctly, but thank you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick playthrough of this and see what this is all about. Alright, cool. So I haven't even played this at all, so we'll see how this goes. Ooh, I gotta sneeze. I didn't want to come back. Ooh, okay. Why would I? After Never all mind. that's happened, even in here. Ooh, so, I like how it looks. Where is the journal? Where's the journal? Oh, I like how this is already. Alrighty, where is the journal? Use the keys to move. Okay. Do I click, 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 click? click? Hold to interact. Oh, okay. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate mm. of those when I get out mm. of here. Okay, let's see what else. Click, 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 click. Oop. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. Oh god. What was I thinking? The hair. That's always my question. I always change my hair up and look back and get a good cringe on every now and then. Ooh, can I lift pillows? Okay, sorry. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. No, that's her parents. I'm confused. Who am I? <laughs> Whoa. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. E am I not alive? I feel oh thank god, it's not that detailed. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I like how it looks, I like how it moves. Oh my gosh, Bumblebee, what an adorable name. Oh, look at I found my journal. Hi, Kelsey. Oops. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking. Didn't want to step on anyone's toes. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. Oh. I did what I did because oh of you, gosh. and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I Ooh. can't be near you, so don't I don't shot. want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except she wouldn't oh. be. She would not be all right. Why not? Why are we not all right? Last hope, one of two. Whoa. Okay, I think that's just like phases I go through. Hello. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything, but she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Ooh, what did this boy done do? Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. <laughs> the vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Hmm. Okay, so I'm definitely not Marie, so it's- okay, Bumblebee. Oh, oh my gosh! Did I get, like, transported into the past? It definitely looks like it, like, because this is not- okay. Not what the room looked like originally. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. Dang. I didn't want anyone Oh, I'm to sorry. Sometimes I need to be more patient. So this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. I don't know if y'all can hear, but my neighbors are going crazy upstairs. BD dubs, they have like a one year old. Oh, might be. I didn't mean to stop the music. No, keep it going. Oh. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. 
I don't think she ever went. That's sad. That's always my biggest fear. I like to travel. I just like... I would hate to not be able to go anywhere. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have oh been gosh. dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Oh my goodness. That's rough. Okay, okay, what's... Okay, there's a couple... Okay, just a dust lamp. Ooh, all the better to see me with. Oh! Meow. Um... Yeah, I don't know your password, honey. Okay, I gotta find it somewhere. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall oh my gosh. shirt. Until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. That's interesting and kind of freaky. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring, is what mm. she said. Her, the weird kid, talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? My words exactly. Mr. Torres, thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Okay, Mr. Torres, I'm not sure if that's like her father or something. Oh my gosh. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Rubik's Cube. Hated that thing. Uh oh. Yeah, so do I. Let me see. Have I seen this? What is it? Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. Uh oh. Ooh, there's so many things. What could I look at that? No. Okay. I don't. Mr. Torres and Marie oh my were robbed gosh. in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Oh man, I thought that'd be a clue on the back. Is it Mr. Torres? Stone. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. What did you do? Hit the girl upside the head with a rock! Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Hmm. Oh, look at these stars. Nice to have glow in the dark stars. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. You garbage eaters! She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And Can I... I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a Aww. new deck and suggested I deal again. Wow, that's the that's a good friend right there. Check doormat and let me get over there. Yes, I'm not a shadow. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. That's a little spoopy. Yeah, that's her password. Can I open this door? Ooh, keys. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Damn. Worse than being hungry. 
I'm like struggling to know what's really going on. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Good for Mr. Jones. Ooh, swimsuit. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted Whoa. on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just Excuse to be me. clear. But someone else was. We have no sweet journal. There are less and less F words in these pages. I am so friggin' proud, huh? Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, that it's hard to keep up. Did you know that as a little girl I used to curse abundantly? Trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence. And I guess it looked cute up to a certain age, but he said mom hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt. Every time, because I'd never seen it again. I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman, mad woman, must have. The Evans swear jar. My friend today, I'm not a shadow person anymore. She is my friend. I have a dream. Okay, wait, do I really? I mean, should I, I should probably go through that other stuff. I don't know if there's other pages. Oh man, Kelsey's so angry. Okay, blah, blah. Kelsey broke up with Trevor finally. She can do much better. He's a loser. He assaulted her in school hallway. Of course, no one. Okay, so I think I'm... My character is Kelsey. And Marie and I are Biffles. Um, and her dad is Mr. Torres. I think he's crazy. Keeps calling me at the most impossible hour just as yell at me. Calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that as if I've got her tied up here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. These are the good times that make me forget all about my troubles seem so far away. Wait a minute. Is that a song? Uh, there's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time. And the police think it's Trevor. Suppose it was him in the house. I can't. But Kelsey says that it isn't true. That Trevor is a... a wow. But would never commit such violent acts. Looking at that torn t-shirt, I think she might be in denial here. We needed this. Beer, water, and oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No, I'm not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. Okay. Oh, look, at there's more stuff. Perfect. For all matter, I think it's going to be here, Nikki. I screwed up, but I was worried. Stop, why do you keep writing this? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a lot going on here. High school kid saves classmates from hunger. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it, as if I were some kind of hero so stupid, and I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked, he panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help there. The end, everyone's satisfied. Oh, I get it. And Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of, of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows her. She's gorgeous. It surprised me is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, I must be everywhere. It must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. Well, that's cool. Well, she seems like a good friend so far. Um, I already checked the pillow. There was a couple things over here I thought I did not check. So am I just supposed to fill up the journal? I believe I am. There was something else over here I thought, no. This jacket, doormat, sparkly shoes. I have a pair of shoes like that, I think. He had money. You see? He bought me things. Uh-oh. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, Girls, right? don't date for money. At the time, I didn't know where the money Won't came go from. far. Okay, cool. I thought I researched her backpack. Oh, I did. 
disgusting, but disgusting. Bumblebee, where's the kitty? Meow. Ooh, itch. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. My neighbors. He followed you, and then what? Is he super weird and creepy? La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Hmm. Glad That's Trevor mean. snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Wow, that's pretty shallow and that's pretty mean. I'm gonna try the word library. Damn, I'm not a... I need to find it. Oh, what did she say? Um... Oh my gosh, I totally remember. Oh my gosh, um... Okay, I'm not a something or the other. <gasps> what was it? I'm not... Uh, gosh. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Not really Ah, oh, man, I wish... But I got over I'm it. I'm not a... I chose to work my ass mm. off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Ah, what did you say? I'm not a... Uh... Oh, man. Okay. Ooh, look at this case. I'm not a something... Oh, I need to find the key. Five. A five-figure number. <sighs> she must have written it down here. Five-figure number. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, now Maddie's really in the hunt. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Okay, so I'm not a something in a five-digit number. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one. So we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly. And with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing oh, yeah. my glamour status at school right there as food waste. And don't I know? I'm not a shadow person. I'm not a shadow person. Nope, no running ball. I'm just gonna type in shadow person. I don't know if there's space would be in there. Shadow person. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Uh, let's see what do we got here. We got a kitty gif. Ooh. Oh, it is indeed a kitty. <gasps> Meow. Oh no, I can't. Okay, da da da, July, whatever. Okay, it's a kitty cat, let's... Oh. One day, I just had to know. What's up with all the she cats? She's into cats. She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. Cats. That they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. When Bumblebee went missing, no! Marie cried for days. Not the kitty. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Wow. What a jerk. Where's Tabby? Please help me find him. That is so sad. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Now we're looking at guns. We go from missing cat to guns. Oh, girl, you better hope CIA and FBI do not get a hold of this computer. What's this? Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? Harassment. If they had, oh. none of this shit would have happened, and no Itch. one would have died. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand that you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards, Principal Philip. Phillips J. Sorry about that, P. 
Who? Who? Uh, uh why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. What in God's name is that a picture of her and someone? That's mighty fine to be creepy. Okay, uh, I don't think there's anything else I can click on. Okay, so then I'm looking for a five-digit code. Maybe it's in the ye old book. Gosh darn it, I wish I knew what I was looking for. I don't think she said anything. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Whoa, that was not there before. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple Spin the left. Bottle. <laughs> Apparently they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Crazy kids. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just trying to see if I missed anything. Let me check the journal and see if there's any. Oh, that's so sad about her cat. That really sucks. I feel for people that have lost pets. I am fortunate that I've never had that issue, but that dilemma, but it's that's pretty scary. Okay, let me just see. Maybe she wrote it in here some more. Oh man, I gotta go through this. Um. Oh, I'm itch. Aren't they sick? Oh, no. Oh, I'm a genius. Okay, so what I just started doing was I literally saw this number up here in the right hand corner of the page. So I'm gonna write down a three. Let's see, we got a four. See, but I don't know if I'm probably still missing some numbers. We got a nine. Five. It was a five digit, right? I think so. And a one. Okay. I'm gonna be crafty. I'm just gonna take a guess and see. Okay, why am I dumb and not remember where that lock is? Oh, it's down there. We gotta sneeze again. Oh my god, excuse me, I'm sorry. Five figure number. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. Three, four, oops. I guess I could have gone the other way. Nine, five, oh days, one. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. Or Maddie. Uh, oh my god. To hell? That escalated quickly. The past, like the future, I'm glad I found is it though. Indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. Oh, I wish RIP. It true, but there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. 
I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Oh, answer phone. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Okay, so... All right. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks that Trevor died, but I mean, low-key, he seemed like a creep, and... Yeah, we can't just go stalking people, and then... She killed Marie's dad, so that's pretty messed up. What's this? Oh, I already... Ooh, can I not go in there yet? No, that's her parents' room. Oh. Oh, that's cool. You don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Maybe I do need to go in there. We got pictures. Can I click on those? No. Close chapter. That appears to be it. All right, cool. That was a nice, short, fun little game. Um, probably only took me a half hour to get through. Just cause I was dumb and clicking on everything. But that was cool. I liked it. Oh my gosh, my favorite part was when they were doing the reenactment. That's kind of why I zoomed my, my picture of my face out. It's cause like, I really liked how they did that. It was really creatively done. And you just had like little sparks of light, like reenacting what had happened. 
I thought it was really good. I liked it. Um, graphics really good. It ran real smoothly. Nice and easy. Yeah, so awesome. Alrighty, thanks again for watching, you guys. Um, definitely let me know if you played it, how long it took you. And yeah, if you'd like to see more games like this or something a little more upbeat, you let me know. But until then, I will see you next time. You guys, keep it weird, don't shoot anybody, and I'll see you. Bye! Oh, by the way, I don't think you guys can tell, but if my eyes look a little pink, it's because I just deep cleaned the hell out of my place. Maddie may or may not be a little, um, cleaning product high right now. That's alright! We'll get through this.